Hello friends, my name is Nitish and in this video I am going to discuss about this FCM foreground notification and this video is based on my other video if you have not watched that do watch that first for better understanding so I had opened this firebase messaging uh, github repo this is the official repo so here uh, when you will uh, read this uh, all the information which are mentioned here you will see that receive when the app is in the foreground on message uh, message handler will be called uh, no notification will be shown and when the app is in the background notification is delivered to the system tray it means that when the app will be in the background then only you will get the notification and when the app is in the foreground you will not get any notification so if you are not getting get any getting any notification it means that um, there is not any issue if you think that there is any issue or if you will add some line of code it will solve your problem no there is nothing like that it was not built to solve that issue it was not built to show the notification when the app is in the foreground okay so uh, you should go through this you will get lots of information from this and uh, that's it so now i think that i should start implementation uh, and uh, i again uh, i am again telling you that uh, once go through the previous video if you have not gone through that because this is completely based on that i will use lots of things from the previous tutorial the complete code is from the previous tutorial and from this point i will implement that uh, foreground notification only because uh, lots of users are having this issue so let's uh, start this implementation so first of all we will add this dependency so the dependency name is uh, not firebase flutter local notification so this is not related to the firebase So just get the dependency and here I have a medium post regarding this uh, flutter local notification you can read this uh, this is a little bit detailed and there are a lot more feature in this flutter local notifications and that is really good and uh, I think uh, we got the package so let's come to the coding so let's import the package uh, so flutter local notification and just after that we will import the async also because we will need that so let's start so first of all we will make a firebase local notification plugin variable and we will initialize it also and make the object so we are done with this so now it's time to initialize it so we are having this init state so inside this we will initialize it so first of all we will make a variable android and inside that we will uh, keep the android notification settings okay so android notification settings so in the android notification settings it's mandatory to provide the uh, icon so you can add a new icon in the drawable folder uh, inside the android resource or you can use the available uh, icon which is the default icon uh, which is available in the in map uh, and the file name is ic launcher.png so in the platform uh, we will just keep this uh, uh, yeah now we will just uh, initialize this uh, setting and to initialize the setting we just have to give the android and uh, ios uh, initialization set settings so just after that uh, we will initialize this uh, flutter local notification plugin and to initialize this we just have to give this um, initialization setting and we can give the on selected notification also and the on selected is used to uh, perform any action whenever the notification is selected uh, there is some issue okay and that is not yeah now it's fine so we are done with this so now what we want is that uh, we want that whenever we uh, got any message like when we uh, have opened the app and when we got the notification it will not show us but it will come to this it will invoke this 
message handler which is on message so what we want is that inside the message handler we want to call the method and which will show the notification so the method name is show notification so let's now define this method yeah it's fine and we need to pass the parameter as we are uh, passing their message so we need to define that uh, parameter here to accept that so it's fine now so first of all we will do the same thing first of all we will have the uh, this android notification detail and here will be a channel id and channel name and channel description okay and for the ios there is no logic of channel name and channel id or description so let's uh, give the channel description so let's come to the ios where i was okay and let's initialize it ios notification details we need not to give anything here so let's make uh, again a platform and here we will keep this notification details yeah notification details and we will pass this android and ios in details so we have passed so now it's time to show the notification so show the notification uh, first of all we will call this and we will initialize it and let's pass the platform no no we will not initialize it because we have initialized it in the init state so we will show the notification now we need not to initialize it so the title will be anything you can keep the title anything but for now uh, the title and the uh, body is static and if you want to make this dynamic like if you want to decide the title and body from the uh, cloud console axiom console so you can use that parameter msg which we which i had passed there okay you can use that and i am not going to show that uh, also show that also here because that is uh, quite easy and that is not related to this one okay the main thing is to showing the notification that is the issue so now i think that uh, i did everything correctly and now it will work properly as it, as i am expecting because i am not thinking that there is any issue so let's wait yeah it is so now let's create a message so that we will send that there and we will check that it is working properly or not so before that let's clear this console so that uh, when the on message is called the console, console we get some message in the console so when you will add some custom data here these data will be converted to into the like uh, you can say json or map a key value pair and it will be passed in the msg variable which i had added there okay so from this you can change this i think we did not get the notification uh, what the problem is here okay no valid small icon so no valid small icon it means that uh, it's min map no no it's mip map okay so now it's fine and let's uh, run it again because we have corrected this. and the hot reload will not work because we are working with this in it state so you can see that uh, here is the mip map and that was a mistake uh, so the hot reload not work sometime like uh, one of the most common 
scenario i am telling you that whenever you are change making changing to the init state and if you try to hot reload it it will not uh, show the changes which you which you had made inside the init state okay so let's send a cloud message and duplicate this message because uh, we just want to test the so send message send so let's minimize it and wait uh, yeah we got the notification and let me show you the message uh, the custom data uh, yeah on message folder here is our custom data if you want to show this message so you just have to write this msg dot message and it will show this message okay that is not difficult so i think we are done with this tutorial and you can do lot more with this local notification like if you don't want to show in the system tray instead of that if you want to show at the top of the app you can show there also and here you can see that we have wrote the method we have called that method in the on message and uh, one thing and two thing and uh, one more thing is there that initialization and before that uh, we have defined this object that's it and we have added the dependency and we have imported that and except that we have not did anything else and except this we have not done okay thank you